When you hear the word pet, you think of your furry friend who sits in your lap by your feet as you watch a YouTube video, not the world's deadliest mammal. I am of course talking about hippos. These herbivores can weigh up to 4,000 pounds and on average kill more than 3,000 people per year across the world. So why would anybody see a hippo and think they found their next pet? But that is exactly what South African Marius Ells thought when he took in Humphrey, a 1.2 ton hippo that he would attempt to domesticate. One of the craziest yet humbling tales I've covered, as Marius' lesson teaches us just how small we really are. Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel where we cover all tragic and terror stories. So if you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, plus ring the notification bell to be notified of all new uploads. And as always, viewer discretion is advised. On a 400 acre farm in the Free State Province of South Africa lies a unique family, Marius and Luis Els. Marius was a 34 year old army major who had a love for farming and a fascination with animals of all species. He was an avid outdoorsman and he took pride in creating enclosures and safe places for all species, even some of the most dangerous animals in the world. He would purchase wild animals such as giraffes and rhinos and attempt to domesticate them, usually obtaining them as babies and raising them himself so they were accustomed to relying on Marius for food and general care. This was his passion, and he saw it as his duty to take care of these animals. But there was none as special to him as Humphrey. In 2005, there was a flood in the Free State, and a baby hippo, who was only a couple months old, would be a victim of this flood. He would be swept away in the Vaal River by the sudden rise of water, and he would eventually be rescued by a family who owned a farm close to the Ells, further downstream. They would name the hippo Humphrey, and take care of him as a baby, as they knew if they did not look out for him, he could not survive. But after five months, Humphrey had continued to grow and was becoming too large for the family, so they would look for a potential home that was better suited for him. Marius was more than happy to step in to help a neighbor and would purchase Humphrey at the age of five months. To say it was love at first sight is an understatement, well at least for one man. Over the next six years, Marius would raise Humphrey along with creating an enclosure for him that included a man-made lake. Marius would build the lake connected to the Vaal River so that Humphrey had plenty of water and space to roam. All the while, he continued to take additional animals into his care on his farm and had amassed over 30 species of exotics, but none were as special to him as Humphrey. Marius saw the six-year-old 1.2-ton hippo as his son and even stated that some people only think you can have a relationship with dogs, cats, and domestic animals, but I have a relationship with the most dangerous animal in Africa. Although he saw Humphrey as a lovable giant, his wife Louise certainly did not feel this way, and even stated that she was always worried about Humphrey injuring Marius, whether on purpose or accident, as Marius would spend hours riding or playing in the lake with Humphrey. He would feed him apples, which was his favorite food, and even go as far as brushing Humphrey's teeth. Hippos are known as the most dangerous animal in all of Africa. They kill more people each year than lions, elephants, leopards, rhinos, and buffaloes combined. And they are known for having extremely large and sharp teeth, along with incredible jaw strength. To top it all off, they are very territorial, and have been known to chase people and even boats from certain rivers that they called their home. Marius was convinced that Humphrey saw him as a father, claiming that he would only come if he heard his voice calling out over the lake. But as Humphrey became older and larger, there were signs of danger that Marius ignored, blinded by his love. As Marius would ride Humphrey almost every day, he became accustomed to being bucked off the large hippo's back, and would claim that if Humphrey ever wanted him off, he would just throw him off like a horse. But that was normal, at least to Marius. Over the years, Marius's family and friends would all accept that he loved Humphrey, but they never dared to approach the hippo, and by the time that he turned six, Marius was the only one even able to approach as Humphrey would scare off anyone else unlucky enough to be near the hippo. Early in 2011, just after Humphrey had turned six, a 52-year-old man and his seven-year-old grandson were canoeing down the Vaal River, which runs on the Ells property in the same river that Humphrey was rescued from as a baby. 
They saw the hippo cooling off near the bank, but as soon as Humphrey saw them, the 1.2 ton giant made his way into the river and began swimming towards them. The grandfather was terrified, as the canoe could provide essentially no protection against the giant teeth and force of a hippo. He quickly steered the canoe to the opposite bank, paddling as if his life depended on it and he was able to make it safely as Humphrey was still crossing the river. The grandfather grabbed his grandson and climbed a nearby tree to get away from Humphrey, thinking that he would just leave them alone. But once Humphrey had exited the water, he stood below them at the tree base, unmoving and unbothered by the screams and shouting of the grandfather. The grandfather held his grandson by the waist, standing in the tree for over two hours before Marius came looking for Humphrey. His first few attempts to lure the hippo away were unsuccessful, and paramedics had to be called. Marius was finally able to get Humphrey to move by luring him with apples, while paramedics rescued the duo. Marius would claim that the only reason Humphrey approached them was that he was hungry. This was not the first time or even uncommon occurrence as Humphrey was known to break out of his enclosures more frequently as he grew older and bigger. There was a nearby golf course and country club that neighbored the Ells farm and Humphrey was known to terrorize some of the members as he would chase the golfers. Imagine spending a relaxing day with your friends, maybe having a few beers and then seeing a hippo of all animals running at you face on. A 1.2 ton giant. There are very few that would not get spooked. And to top it all off, Humphrey was also the main suspect for several missing calves that Marius' business partner owned and kept on the Ells property. This was the start, but many family members and friends were worried, as hippos can grow to three tons, which would be twice the current size of Humphrey, further increasing the damage and terror that he could cause. They tried to warn Marius as Humphrey had grown a reputation of terrifying everyone, everyone except his owner. Although his view of Humphrey was that of a lovable pet, Marius was not naive to the danger of Humphrey as he stated in early 2011 that it's a little bit dangerous, but I trust him with my heart that he will not harm anybody. Saturday, November 12th started off as any normal day. Marius and Luis were up early to begin working on the farm, and Marius began making his rounds to ensure that all enclosures and animals had food and a general check, just as he had done the day before and the day before that one. Then it was Humphrey's turn. Marius typically spent longer in the lake as he would feed and spend time with them, but today was different. As Luis worked in the house, it was becoming later and later throughout the day, but there was no sign of her husband. This didn't initially raise any red flags as she saw it as Marius just spending time with Humphrey, as he would do on occasion. But as the afternoon came, she began to feel a sinking feeling in her stomach, a feeling that she could not shake. Earlier in the day, Marius approached Humphrey's enclosure with some of his favorite foods, particularly apples, and yelled his name out over the water. Humphrey emerged, and Marius began wading into the water to feed Humphrey. We will never know the specific details, but whether it was during feeding or after, when Marius was playing with Humphrey, something changed. Humphrey became aggressive and attacked the same man who raised and cared for him for years, and Marius would never return home. Luis would eventually raise the alarm, and some of the workers, family, and eventually paramedics would start the search for Marius. They quickly made their way over to Humphrey's enclosure, but there was no sign of the hippo or Marius. It wasn't until they expanded their search into the Vol River that they found him. Marius was submerged in water, occasionally bouncing off the surface face down. He had large indentations across his body that were unnatural. It was the teeth marks of a hippo. Marius was attacked by Humphrey, who would end up grabbing him by the torso and dragging him into the very same river that he had been saved from six years prior. Humphrey would then maul, chew, and drown Marius' body before leaving him submerged in the very same water. I could not find any reports or news covering Humphrey after he betrayed his owner, so if you have any information on the fate of Humphrey, please leave a comment below. Marius's wife, Louise, was impacted the most that day, but she would continue running the farm with the help of family, as there was still a giraffe, rhino, and many other exotic animals to care for. The red flags were there, and everyone saw them, but Marius refused to see the signs, as he let his love for Humphrey overshadow the dangers of the giant. He was comfortable, too comfortable, as he saw the acts as if they were those of a child who was searching for food or entertainment, not those of the most dangerous animal in the world. Although he was blinded by his own emotions, Marius was loved by so many in his community and was known as a great man, which made the betrayal just that much bigger. A truly horrific way to leave this earth.